Shalom, most high Christ bless. You are watching 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, Officer Daniel. Um, today's title is Say No to Birthdays, because we grew up in a culture where we celebrate birthdays, but according to scriptures, we are not supposed to celebrate birthdays. So we're going to jump to the scriptures. Give me Proverbs 3.31. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. How many of his ways you got to choose? None of his ways. So the scriptures say, envy thou not the oppressor. Are we not the people that's oppressed? We are yet this day in the land of our captivity. The scriptures say, choose none of his ways. The way we're supposed to follow is according to the Bible. So we grew up in a society where birthday is a big thing. You know what I'm saying? Like in the world, you go all out for your birthdays. So before we continue with the scriptures, we're going to read um, an excerpt um, on sermonaudio.com. Right? This is in regard to the Satanic Bible and birthdays. Realize, Satanic Bible and birthdays. So it reads, There is an affinity of such commemoration among the wicked as recorded in the Satanic Bible. So birthdays is recorded in the Satanic Bible. So let's see what the, uh, that, the, that Satanic Bible says about birthday. It said, The highest of all holidays in the Satanic religion is the date of one's birthday. Is the date of one's own own birthday the highest of all holidays the highest of all holidays in the satanic religion not in a godly religion in a satanic religion is the date of one's own birthday this is a this is in direct contradiction to the holy of holy days of other religions which deify a particular God who has been created in a anthropomorphic form of their own image Therefore, showing the ego is not really buried. The satanists feel, why not really be honest? And if you are going to create a God in your image, why not create that God as yourself? So, in the satanic religion, the birthday is considered the highest holy day because why? You are worshiping the self. You follow? That's where that. Uh, that's the origin of this. Um, it reads, every man is a God if he chooses to recognize himself as one. So the satanists celebrate his own birthdays as the most important holiday of the year. Who celebrate their birthday? The satanists celebrate their birthday as the most important holiday of the year. The scriptures say, choose none of their ways. Um, let me read further down. Uh, da, da, da. It'll read right here. Of course, early Christians did not celebrate birthdays, nor did the early Jews nor have real Christians ever celebrate Halloween. So it's jumping up into something else. But people, it is known that we never celebrated our birthday. This was not our custom. Follow, give me Matthew 15, uh, verse 2. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 2. Why do the disciples... Sorry, give me verse 3, sorry. Verse 3. But he answered and said unto them, why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your traditions? So, as we read before in the excerpt, birthday is a satanic um, form of worship. You worship in the self. So, Christ was asking the disciples, uh, the, uh, the people, why do you people break my laws? By doing what? By breaking the commandments. Why do the disciples worship? Why, I mean, not the disciples. Why do the people break the commandments of God by doing what? birthdays and other holidays but today we're focusing on birthdays and as we read it is what a satanic it's a satanic form of worship give me matthew 14 verse 6. let's see in the bible if we're gonna find people celebrating their birthdays the book of matthew chapter 14 verse 6 but when herod's birthday was kept the daughter of herodes danced before them and please herod stop when Herod's birthday, was Herod a Jew? No. He was an Edomite that was ruling over the Jews. So on his birthday, he celebrated his birthday. Why? Because he was a heathen. On his birthday, let's see what happened. Verse 7. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before instructed of, of her mother, said, give me, her, give, give me here, John the Baptist, head and a charger. And the king was sorry. Nevertheless, for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. So John the Baptist was murdered on Herod's birthday. That's what happened on 
the heathen's birthday. You're not going to read the Bible where you see righteous Israelites celebrated their birthday. Not happening. Give me the book of Genesis chapter 40 verse 20. The book of Genesis chapter 40 verse 20. And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday. Which was whose birthday? Pharaoh's birthday. Was Pharaoh an Israelite? No. Pharaoh was an Egyptian, a heathen. Read. On his birthday. That he made a feast unto all his servants. And he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again. And he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interp inter inter interpreted, the interpreted to them. So if you notice something, on the heathen's birthday, people die. You got two references of people celebrating their birthday, two heathens. Herod, John died. This time, the butler died. You follow? So, those two examples of birthday has nothing to do with us. How did we get to that level? Let's go. First Maccabees chapter 6 verse 1. How did we get to the level where we worship, uh, we're following uh, the, the, the custom of the heathen? Read. Give me the book of 2 Maccabees chapter 6 verse 1. The book of 2 Maccabees chapter 6 verse 1. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart, to depart from the laws of their fathers and not to live after the law of God. So this is what's happening here. In captivity, they sent, us, they sent people to compel us to depart from the, the, our laws and to do what? Follow after their laws. The heathens, when you read the Bible, their God is what? Idols. So in dealing with the heathens, we're not supposed to follow birthdays. That's how we end up in this situation. Jump to verse 6. Verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So under, the, under those captivities, we were not allowed to be ourselves. We were not allowed to keep our laws, our customs. So what did we do? Wherever we lived, we partake in the same things that were happening in those areas. That's how we pick up worshipping of idols. That's how we pick up worshipping of the self. Birthdays, throwing parties. You follow? Give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. Verse 16. So the scripture warned us not to follow the ways of the heathen, but we were born in them, so now we're making classes out there so that way you understand what ways you should follow. Read. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. So, in process of time, because when the Maccabees took over, I mean, when the Greeks took over, they met resistance from the Maccabees. Not every Israelite turned from their religion, but in process of time. When we went from captivities to captivities, captivities after captivities, we were broken down. Especially in this modern day Babylon. We were broken down to the lowest common denominator where things that we hated became nice to us. You couldn't offer a Jew a, um, pork, but today, you can't take pork from an Israelite. They love that thing, but we never liked that thing before. Over time, in process of time, through a lot of whipping, through a lot of killing, we accepted those things, and now we keep them as laws. Okay? Give me Psalm 119, verse 9 and 6. I mean, 119, verse uh, 126. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 126. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. So... We, but David in the Spirit is asking the Most High, it's time for you to work, God, because everybody has forsaken thy law. We all forsake God's law, so now is the time to return, because you're not going to make it to the kingdom celebrating your birthdays. This is why it is time now that we teach you those things, so you may know to come out of those ways of living, right? Give me uh, Psalm 115, verse 1 and 2, because we read uh, uh, a birthday is what? Self-worshipping. Let's see what Psalm 115 and 1 and 2 says. The book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name. Give glory for thy mercy and for thy true sakes. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name. Be the glory. So according to the scripture, according to just that scripture, can we celebrate birthdays? No, because we're not supposed to give ourselves glory, but the Most High is supposed to get the glory. Read it one more time. Verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy, 
and for thy truth's sake. So we're supposed to give glory to the Most High God, okay? Give me Jeremiah 7, verse 17 and 18. We are not supposed to follow birthdays because birthday is satanic and it is self-worshipping. And the Bible clearly say, not unto us, not unto us, but unto you be given the glory. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, verse 17. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. That's what you see happening in this world today. Everybody doing their own thing. They're keeping all different wicked holidays, making cakes, celebrating their birthday, wear their little witch hat on their birthday, giving themselves the, the glory. So what the scripture says, in doing these things, you are provoking the Most High God to anger. This is why our society is still in, 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 in disarray. This is why our kids are still dying, because God is mad at us. But it is time for you to wake up out of your deep sleep. That's why we're here teaching you the words, okay? Give me 1 Thessalonians 5.22. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Abstain from all appearance of evil. That's a command. In, in being born again, we've got to transform our mind and change our ways. All those wicked holidays that we grew up celebrating, we're not supposed to do them. Especially birthdays. Because that's self-worshipping. Give me Job 1, 4, and 5. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 4. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day. So his, Job's son used to celebrate their birthday. Everyone went feasted on, on the house on his day, his birthday. Read. And sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. So notice that Job's kids used to celebrate their birthdays, right? So uh, let's see what happened. Uh, keep reading. Verse 5. And it was so. When the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For, for Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned. And if it may be what? That my sons have sinned. Job made sacrifice and sent prayers for them because it know that he knows that they celebrate their birthday, that they are sinning. And for that, when you continue reading the book of Job, most I did what? Allow Satan to go and kill them. You follow? Give me uh, Job 3, verse 1 and 4. The book of Job, chapter 3, verse 1. The book of, yep. Yeah. After, after this opened Job his mouth and cursed his day. Curse his day. What is his day? His birthday. Read. And Job spake and said, Let the day perish when I was born. Let the day do what? Perish wherein I was born. Let the day perish in which I was born. So his day was talking about his birthday. That's why in verse 4 when you read everyone his day, you know that it was celebrating their birthday. And Job knew that they were sinning. Job understood that that's, that day we don't celebrate it. We don't celebrate Christ's birthday either. You're not going to find in the Bible where they celebrated any of the prophet's birthday. It's not a custom. Um, give me... Um, uh, Proverb 1, 22. Proverbs 1, verse 22? Yep. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity, and the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? So the scriptures say how long you're going to remain in that simplicity. How long you're going to keep giving yourself the pump? How long you're going to give yourself the glory? If you remain that, then you're a fool, because only fool hate knowledge knowledge is keeping god's laws and we've given you this knowledge to what pull you out of uh how you say worshiping of the self to pull you out of witchcraft read turn ye at my reproof behold i will pour out my spirit unto you i will make known my words unto you so the scripture is asking you to turn at the reproof of the most high god because these scriptures i just brought out they're not my own word they are the words of the most high god and according to scriptures as we just proved to you birthday is satanic and Moses is asking you to turn at his reproof and if you do so then he will make his word known unto you so with that we're going to end it and we're going to say shalom we hope that you get something from this class stop celebrating your birthday shalom
walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't singing that no more. It sounds wrong, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.